Cheers. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to another stream during this long in the X day, first day. Um, with me, I have Tom, one of the developers behind Chronique de Silencieux. Did I pronounce this correctly, Tom? Yes, it was perfect. Right, amazing. So my French lessons are still <laughs> somewhere in my mind. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Amazing. OK, so, um, so very briefly, um, and from what I gathered, uh, this is a point and click game with a lot of mystery going on, a lot of puzzles going on, and we are supposed to uncover a mysterious story about a mysterious person uh, by solving sort of puzzles and exploring this world. Uh, is this a correct uh, five min uh, 10 seconds pitch elevator? Yes. Elevator pitch, yeah. OK. Um, so I think I'm not sure if you want to add anything uh, to this, Tom. Um, uh, I would yeah. suggest starting because the, the tutorial is somewhat uh, long at least in the beginning, and we can go on. Mm -hmm. Sure. OK. Um, so yeah, so Chronique de Silence was uh, is a uh, yeah detective game uh, inspired by uh, Ace Attorney, uh, inspired by Papers Please, inspired by lesser known. But if you haven't played it and you like detective games, you should uh, Tangle Towers. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, it's a game where you you investigate. Um, uh, an old man, an old history teacher who uh, um, has a daughter and uh, he's very secretive and uh, he hasn't really told his, his daughter a lot about himself and uh, she wants to know and, uh, and you are hired as a private detective instead of having, you know, sitting down, having a conversation, he wants you to have an investigation on him which is a bit weird. Yeah. yeah. And so we start and we get this letter with some context uh, yeah, so, for our character, I believe. So you're, mm -hmm. you're playing the demo, which is playing the, the, the prologue of the game, which is not is is kind of settling down the characters you're going to uh, meet throughout the game and are uh, you going to be along throughout the game. And, and uh, uh, so it's not, you're not, uh, this, the prologue is not, uh, centering around that old man. Mm -hmm. At first, you're kind of meeting the protagonist, Eugene, learning uh, who, who is he, where he's coming from, and uh, you know, he's, you're going to be playing right. him for a few hours. Might as well you know, have a bit of a... Might as well know him, right? A bit of a Let's have to know him then. Yes, this is a letter from his, um, from his mom, um, and we gather that she's not with us anymore. And uh, and he's uh, alone on a train uh, and uh, arriving in Bordeaux. We're in, we're, we're in the seventies. And um, you see that actually everything in the game is based in uh, actual places in southern France, if I got that right. Yes. Um, and you show some pictures, but uh, how was the research process behind that uh long <laughs> uh <laughs> I, I i got a bit lost so the, the game uh it's been in development for six six years depending on how you count it but yeah. it's okay and it's gone through a lot of different phases but yeah the, there was um i've probably read like 20 or 30 books on you know really uh s southern france southwest southwest France resistance uh, in the 40s and, and you know, like uh, Bordeaux, which is the, the starting city in the game uh, where you're uh, basically, there's, there's, so you, you're going to visit uh, just after this, you're going to cross into Mariadec, which is a, one of the neighborhoods we explore in the game. And it was, uh, we chose this because it was, uh, kind of a symbol of, of how uh, European cities transformed uh, in, in after the war and kind of wanted to, to do a tabula rasa, you know, like uh, fresh fresh starts from the past and kind of oh, okay. both try to, to build the city of the, the 2000. Uh, it was a big slogan at the time. And, uh, and yeah, so this, 
neighbors are kind of a character. So we kind of, yeah, research into the cities to kind of try to see, okay, what kind of stories we could, we could tell right. in, in, in these. Um, Let me just tell you that I, I found uh, the, the, this, these little tips, like the tutorial is imbued in the game. So just like double, double click to run and everything. And you can uh, do uh, the arrows. You can move with the arrows as well. Yeah, uh, if you if you if you like. But I'm used to the classics. So okay, I grew cool. up playing Broken Sword <laughs> and the kind. So point and click is still something that I'm very comfortable with. Okay, and you can maintain the click as well if you want to move. Um... Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So yeah. So I f for anybody who paid attention to the chat, this is where we want to be. I know this because well, I tried the game before. Spoilers. Um, so let's get in. So this is yeah the address he has where his uncle lives and he doesn't know anything about what his uncle does or uh, what sort of place is this. But we're gonna know exactly really soon what what sort of place this is. Oh. Okay, so this is the the first moment of interaction, I think. Uh oh. She's not very kind. I learned that quite <laughs> fast. You've met Madame Solange. Uh huh. Have you uh, have you guessed uh, what her job, day to day job? Yet? Uh, not really. I, I didn't play much, but I, okay. I I I don't want to say much, but I think this is like a school or something, <laughs> uh, or some kind of okay. institute. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, Rana, So Rana, Yeah, you've you've kind of. Uh, that's that's what. Uh, yeah, that's what Eugene thinks. Um, okay. <laughs> so I'm I'm very in line with uh, Eugene's mind, right? Yeah. Well, that that's what uh, that's what you want with with your protagonist. You exactly. In line with them. Yeah. Well, your uncle disappeared a few days ago. Just took off without a single word. Nothing. And I was supposed to. Anyway, that means you're. You have no more business here. I'm sorry, madame, but I've got nowhere to go. Is that so? I'm sure you'll be fine. Good day. She's very kind, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, you said, um, you say in the Kickstarter campaign that um, the characters are also based on actual people, I think. So um, I think I read something about uh, actual actors. Yeah, we took, we took, uh, we took actors. Um, Real, uh, yeah, French actors and one. Oh, that's a bit of a bug. I'll just Did write it down. <laughs> Never mind. Nice. Thank you. You get a, you get a cookie. <laughs> um, yeah, we we yeah we took uh, inspiration from French actors from the period from 60s, 70s because we're really inspired by uh, French cinema uh, from that one? period. Uh, and Fra Franco Italian uh, cinema as well, and we have uh, mm -hmm. Eugene, who is uh, Italian. Uh, origin, okay. Origin, uh, he's, he's French, but uh, his parents are Italian, and they're right. They and and so he's uh, based on the uh, Italian actor. Okay. Um, actually, kind of know the answer to this, but someone in chat is asking how big the team behind this game is. Uh, so for most of those six years of the game has been development, there's been me and my brother. Uh, okay. Uh, so between the two of us, we do. Uh, so I do code, uh, writing, design, um, uh, and generally managing production. And uh, Florent does the kind of business and uh, managing administration and stuff and doing the music. And he's also writing the dialogues. Okay. And, uh, and then we have the artists. Uh, so we had uh, for nine, ten months, we had a team of uh seven eight artists uh six six seven okay so they so so it's mostly a two-man show but with a couple of artists supporting your work alongside the way yeah most more like we kind of uh, quadrupled our, our team over overnight. Oh, okay and, and uh anyway we we didn't have much money so we kind of okay we have a set period and we have to make the most of it and yeah we were kind of we were uh really blown away by their work 
Uh, we have uh, um, the, the, for example, we have uh, Fabiano who does the animations, the spine animation, which are procedural animation. Okay. Uh, for the characters, and and he's he's worked on uh, Monkey Island, the last one. Oh. Uh, who really? also uses spine, yeah. And he's uh, he's done a really wonderful job. Uh, we really like amped up between the start of the production and 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 now like what the characters can express and we're not fully mm -hmm. like it's there's so much potential that we're not fully utilizing it yet and because it takes uh, like a long time to for the scenes to kind of put every expression and mm -hmm. and the timing right and everything and yeah, yeah but the the artwork is very pretty and uh, yeah. overall the, the characters are very interesting for also it seems like they are hand drawn but at the same time they're very expressive mm -hmm. like these faces seem to be portraying some kind of emotion um, which I think is uh, makes uh, for great immersion during the game, during the game, and especially during such long uh, moments of uh, chatting between yeah. the characters. Yeah. So the, the the game is a bit chatty at the at the start to kind of mm -hmm. set the mood and the characters, and uh, and yeah, and then yeah, we yeah. have uh, gameplay. Uh, well, I'm I'm not paying a lot of attention because I think this is something that people have to experience as sure. they actually play the game. Mm. Um, yeah, he's. So he, yeah, he just the gist of it is that he stumbled uh, into uh, so he yeah he got let off by that old lady and uh -huh. and, and then that young lady uh, uh, in the corridor and kind of was very inquisitive about him and he was very shy and he kind of stumbled into that room with a lot of young ladies and and that old man who's uh, giving them a, a lecture. Uh, exactly. Um, yeah. This I think this is what gave me the impression that this was some kind of school or institute. It, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah. It is part part time a school and part time okay. something else. I'll, I'll let you the pleasure okay. of discovering. <laughs> All right. You also have moments uh, like actual cutscenes where you have some some voice acting, correct? Like when uh, when I think it's uh, Katarina or something found us. On the when we were coming upstairs, so there's like moments where we actually have storytelling with voice acting. Is that yes, correct? yes, yes. Of course, yeah. We have, uh, yeah, we have uh, animated cutscenes done by Lilu, artist. Uh, yeah, animated. So we kind of wanted to capture some of that French Belgian uh, mm -hmm. animation uh, spirit. Uh -huh. um, our style is very much uh, inspired by by those. Um, and uh, yeah, kind of, it was kind of a, a pleasure, uh, uh, like a, kind of a treat for us to, to be able to do some of that because we, mm -hmm. we love we love uh, we love cartoon and uh, and animation. So it, it's kind yeah, of I can definitely see the, the the parallels there with uh, especially I never went to France but uh, to Belgium and there's a lot of uh, comic books and yeah. stuff from and, Belgium and I and definitely I... see that here. And I often have to correct people when when they say, "Oh, you know, your uh, yeah, your game is very is so French. It looks like Tintin." And I say, "No, yeah, no, it's, it, it would look Belgian then." <laughs> yeah, but even that, although I I just um, experienced the city on, on that brief moment when we, we were coming from the train station to this place, but you can also see some European influence there on the architecture for sure. Yeah, That's yeah, great. of course. Well, uh, yeah, it's. Uh... Well, I think yeah. Uh, between, uh, I haven't been to Lisbon, but uh, from the picture, it seems like the the architecture in between Bordeaux and Lisbon, there's some similarities in, in yeah, the, yeah, in the coastal in down, downtown Lisbon and older parts for sure. Coast, coastal cities uh, with the trading trading past, rich mm -hmm. trading past. Mm -hmm. Okay. So someone else on chat just commented on how this uh, reminds them of uh, Broken Sword, and it's something that I instantly thought about when I tried the game yesterday. Yeah, well, we've got. I haven't played the the game, but is it is it the quantum contemporary setting that makes you think that? Um, yeah, and uh, sure, and the the, the kind of. Um, so like while in Monkey Island, for example, you have a very specific setting, the pirates and some kind of fantasy going on. Uh, Broken Sword is more realistic and has some kind of, uh, it's also usually around some kind of mystery and some detective mm. work. So I think that's right. what um, gives that impression. Mm. 
Yeah, maybe I might uh, how to play. Um, but this is not this is not to overlook this by any means. Okay, so no, no, it, uh, and and uh, I'll um, I'll need to check the the reference. For the, yeah, the main, the really the main influences are are uh, like I said, Ace Attorney, the 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 trial part. Uh, because in so each in the game each chapter is centered around their character, and mm -hmm. uh, you kind of try to find find his history and what he's what he's holding back his secret, and you've got a phase where you try to, you confront him and you kind of you've gathered everything your all your all the elements uh, of your investigation and you're you're throwing throwing at them and trying to dismantling their testimonies to to get to the the, the truth. And it's right. really, really inspired by by S. Uh and and so we kind of we try to have a, a, a exploration phase, which is more open ended and more honestly fun than A. Sutony. I think I love A. Sutony, but yeah, the the, the 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 investigation phase is not really the most fun part of the of the game. You you know I ju I just noticed, uh, and the weather light on chat is saying the same. That so I, I I noticed that Eugene had some kind of uh, recorder with him and yeah. I was recording the conversation and uh, I think in in Broken Sword one of the characters is also a reporter <laughs> maybe <laughs> nice. maybe it's not a, it's it, it's not something obvious but uh, there are some parallels there but you know maybe uh, yeah then, I, maybe I'm inspired by the by the games that were inspired by Broken Sword you know the, maybe kind of like those big you know those yeah, big but, movies uh, that you. You haven't haven't seen it, and when you see them, you see everything exactly. that sprung out of it. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, so Eugene is pretty much trying to collect some information and uh, is registering everything, right? Yes. So yeah, you have these. Uh, so you have the the scenes. You so in the game with like the ladies, so it's more like exploring characters and advancing the story. And then you have these interviews where everything is recorded and you can go back to it and, and that's what you use to, mm. to advance in the investigation. Okay, so that's where you're going to have some of those AC Attorney moments where you're just going to dive into what people told you and... Yeah, so uh, so the main, in the in the exploration phase, one of the main inspiration is Papers, Please, where we, uh -huh. I, one of the starting ideas of, of the game was, like very long ago, was okay can we can we take that mechanic of finding discrepancies between two things and turn that into a fully fledged investigation mm -hmm. and uh and of course along the way i realized that i needed more but this is still like finding connections contradictions between elements is still like kind of the core uh, mechanic of the way of advancing in the in the, in the investigation Okay, very nice. Actually, the first time I play something that deep uh, in that regard, because all the point and click games I've played in my entire life, so I, I am actually starting to think I should not consider this to be a classic point and click game for sure. Because it's much deeper. Uh, uh, well, we, yeah, we're trying to have kind of a... We, we're really trying to add uh, something to the detective genre, like uh, uh -huh. uh, inno innovate and, uh, and kind of uh, improve, uh, yeah. Some of the some of the things that kind of bother us. So, for example, um, so here you have uh, you've noticed you don't have a question tree. You have uh, topics, right. and those topics are the same for every characters you can interview in the game. So when you unlock a topic with someone, so 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 with so, while you're talking to Solange, she's gonna mention uh -huh. some some things, some locations. And they're gonna be unlocked as a topic naturally because that's how you learn about information. And right. you're gonna be able there to ask other characters about these topics. And exactly. Yeah, we just unlocked lessons, which is another topic to explore. Yeah, and and so this was a way to avoid question trees, which often give away the answer by the way the text is phrased. Uh -huh. So here, in, instead, we kind of skip over the part where the Eugene would be formulating the the the, the question, and you're just like asking about generally about the topic, and so kind of directly from the player's mind to the the answer uh, of of the characters. There's no, there's as little uh, in between as possible between you know the the player and and, and kind of solving the mystery, and because. Uh, you often get frustrated with detective games where uh, 
you feel like the, the the game is holding you by the hand or the protagonist mm -hmm. is kind of thinking uh in your place you know is giving you the answers and you're not really doing the detective work um that was like at the time when we started the game uh developing the game there was virtually no game uh where i felt like it was truly a detective game since then mm -hmm. uh the Oberdin came out uh, right. from lucascope which kind of uh yeah was as again genius uh genius by lucascope but uh is they're they're doing something totally different which was kind of fascinating to i was really like for three days straight i was just engrossed into into the game and uh but yeah we're doing like so since we started before and we were inspired by the previous lucas pop game we are kind of one lucas pop uh, game behind um and it was funny to see like uh, the curse of the golden idol kind of be really inspired by the upper din yeah, so I don't remember exactly when Oberdin released, but it was not... Uh, I was trying to check... I think it was probably like 2019 or 2020. Yeah, and you said that this game has been in uh, more or less six years of development. So how, how does it feel like when you're developing a game like this and then something like uh, Return uh, of the Oberdin uh, releases? Uh, Does that impact your design in any way in your uh, well, process? I was inspired by Lucas Pope in the first place, so it, it, it was kind of uh, it felt like okay, this is another masterclass, you know. But then seeing uh. like a totally different direction he was taking, I was like, okay, that's interesting. Uh, and I didn't see like the answers he was giving in terms of game design to problems uh, we mm -hmm. encountered. That was fascinating. Like, okay, two different approaches to different answers, and I just still don't know if mm, the game the the it's i've kind of have hypothesis to what can make a good detective game and this is kind of my thesis the game is like okay how how can you make a good detective game and i hope like i'd, I'd be super okay if like other games kind of advance that direction as well of like uh, topics because i'm i'm kind of also furthering the the a game design that was uh, so the topics was inspired by Tangle Towers, which have they use it in a different way where they have kind of a they have a, they have a sentence uh, and you have holes in the sentence and then you have like uh, key elements of the investigation and the way it was just kind of the way of being able to synthesize the 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 investigation, break it down into into like sec selectable parts and and. And dividable parts and, and and being able to use them as gameplay bits that was really mm. like uh inspirational for me and that was kind of the the other piece I, piece i needed alongside the discrepancy uh mechanic from paper space so yeah okay so i have a question for you are are we in a brothel <laughs> yes <laughs> you got it <laughs> that's cool prohibited by law what <laughs> so that Eugene, I'm ju I'm just I'm I'm Eugene's mind right now. <laughs> yeah, you, you were exactly tagging along, which was it's, <laughs> it's really nice for us because we were kind of like metering out the the clues of like where we at really, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, I never considered at any point that this could be a brothel. <laughs> yeah, so we're trying to to be very light about it, even though like brothels in real life are not always very light, but we kind of have. Um, uh, uh, be inspired by some movies that we're talking about, kind of uh, girl solidarity in, uh, yeah, in, yeah, yeah, in a way for some women to kind of gain power in a society uh, by like uh, you know like dating the the bank bank manager and then dating the 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 the, the, the minister and then then dating you know like going up the social ladder and and kind of. Uh, getting their power and it was kind of uh, like uh, um, like a lot of course in the past like a lot of women power was kind of mm -hmm. um, uh, traditionally gathered through like those those kind of, of means and we kind of don't really try to judge all of that we we try to really have the noir approach which is kind of you know the life is as it is you know characters are right to right get right by yeah no judgment like the detective is just here collecting or just confronting the madame, trying to yeah. understand what's happening. And I, he's he's kind of understanding, you know, the arrangement with because exactly. they they the police knows about this clandestine brothel, but uh, they yeah, probably because it. because they are customers as well, right? Uh, no, not because they're customers, but because they might be as well. But 
the main point is that they, it's a really good uh, way to get info on the mafia. Mm, uh, because okay. the mafia is definitely customers and sometimes owning the stuff. And so it's a, get, a good way to kind of get through the information. And so it's kind of an arrangement there. Tolerated. Okay. This is also giving me the feeling that uh, we're going to be playing Eugene, but we're going to be working with a detective at some point. Yes. you're. So the prologue is kind of... Uh, Eugene first starting out as uh, as um, getting into yeah detective work and then uh, in the next chapter you're seeing him five years after that and he's kind of grown uh, grown into a bit more of a so right now he's like 16 15 so he's, he's uh, like a teenager and, and and then you see him is a bit more reassured uh, later on and he's yeah grown some detective okay. hours. I think that there is a lot of text, definitely, um, but the conversation is interesting. So it's dynamic. They go uh, back and forth. Uh, they change arguments, um, and so of course, during the stream, maybe this is not. Uh, I think I think uh, whoever plays this game and just sits and play the game will probably enjoy the conversation uh, that they're having in game because it's it's very interesting and uh, they're actually arguing and conversations is is, is are very deep. <laughs> Yeah, so right now we're, so yeah, before stream you were asking me, should we start, you know, uh, a bit uh -huh. after the, the game, but I think now it's kind of getting more into the gameplay part and it's the kind of pace of like storytelling and everything is mm -hmm, more mm -hmm. of what you get in, in, in the game. Uh, uh, so yeah, so the, 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 so the inspector has asked you to go to the, so you've learned that the, the so Flavio, your uncle is at the police station detained in a cell. And, Let's go and, then. and the inspector is telling you, oh, you know, you should come by and, and I'll, I'll, I'll arrange a visit for you. Let's go then. Yeah, I was just exploring to see uh, how much I could go um, so, outside of, of the script, if you <laughs> want to call it that. So, so right now the girls are still in, oh. in class. So they're not uh, they're not out and about yet. Right. Uh, but you've got time progressing in the game a bit. Uh, there's no like uh, a time uh, system like in this Coliseum or anything, but it's you've got like three or four stages in a chapter where like time advances. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, right now you see that the rain has stopped, for example. And, uh, exactly. That, that's something I noticed when I first tried. So no, nobody was outside, and I figured, well, it's the rain, right? So there's a context for not having anybody outside. No, and now just coming out and seeing a lot of people to talk to. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, maybe we uh, you can. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight to the yeah you to can the station. to 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 show some Oopsie. connection gameplay. Sorry. Um, Are we still seeing the game, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is this is Mayadek, uh, which is the uh, the like market. market. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Of Bordeaux, and uh, so. And so this is, this is uh, actually was real, right? So the, the market was just like this. So it was real what and, you researched. Yeah, and, and it was destroyed in the in the 70s. So actually mm -hmm. in the game, you can uh, see the process of it being destroyed. You see it at different stages. And um, and uh, you kind of uh, hear a bit of the, of the stories of like, you know, time passing by. And so this is, yeah, this is the station. And okay. if, if you go the, the other way, uh, on the on the square, you should go to the oh you should go sorry. to the police station. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Oh no, from um, we were talking while they were getting carried directly. away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, okay, so the other direction. The, uh, no, the other just straight in the other oh, way. Yeah, just yeah. straight this way. Okay, oh, okay. Bottom, bottom left. Yeah. Okay, there you, go. there you go. Sorry, I lost the chat. Let me just get get the chat back to me. Sorry. Okay. Well, we have a question in chat. Um, someone is asking if if the team, so you, your brother, and some of the artists are gonna come to the to the physical event in Portugal. Uh, unfortunately, we we thought we were gonna go there, and we had some uh, unexpected delays that were kind of outside our control, and that means we won't have time to make it. Oh, okay. Uh, and it was a shame because I was really looking forward to visiting Lisbon and getting a few days <laughs> off yeah. in, in there. And, and yeah, so it'll be uh, an, another time. Yeah. Another time. Okay. I also really like 
This is something I really like, actually. Whenever we start a conversation, maybe not always, but a relevant conversation, the game kind of like zooms in and gives that, uh, as you, I think, I think as you said, like something like the older movies, right? Like we are actually, it feels like you are in a movie sometimes. Yeah, we 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 were. Um, it was kind of a choice to to have the black bars kind of go down, and we were. I think because in isometric it's hard to you don't have much vertical space and so kind of um uh putting the scenes together with the characters and everything it was it was uh hard uh to it's sometimes hard to kind of have everything kind of flow together so we felt mm -hmm. like kind of the like yeah separates kind of the more cinematical moment with uh, with the interviews uh, was uh, was important yeah. No, I think I think it works great. It's, it's like uh, it just gets everything focused on the interaction that's going on, and I think uh, at least in that regard, it works really well. Mm. The pimp. <laughs> okay, nice. So, I really like this detective, by the way. Seems very reasonable. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 a bit um, he's a bit in between because he's kind of you know see he's, he's a bit using Eugene to kind of uh, right. uh, um, advance his own case. Uh, and yeah, so we're yeah we're all all, the, all kind of all the characters you're meeting is are always gray, and uh, we love like exploring. Um, it's like in real life, right? Yeah. We are all gray. All gray, but I'm very like I'm an I'm an optimist, so I I kind of always want to I I like my characters too much, so they always I always want them to improve, <laughs> and they always kind of so I always cut them out, you know, like more more gray or more dark, and then I I move them up and into the light, I guess, uh, uh -huh. throughout the game and yeah. Interesting. Okay. I'm very interested in, in actually restarting the game and going on with the story. <laughs> so yeah, so this is yeah, this is the the yeah, this is, yeah, this is like the the, the, po the police the report, report. Yeah. the police report exactly. So why why do, did your uncle get into a uh -huh. into a cell? End up into a cell. I I didn't check, but I I noticed during uh, some of the voice acting. So the voice acting is in French, right? Yes, uh, which it's, makes uh, total it's, sense, so obviously. Technically, uh, it's in the so uh, more broadly, it's in the voice of uh, the the language the person speaks in real life. Mm, okay. so if the character is in French, she is going to speak French. Okay, okay, okay. So it's okay, full immersion, right? So no translations, no uh, nothing. So characters speak the language they speak. Yeah, because um, to be honest, it was also kind of an economical choice because. We were mm. small indie studio, and of we course, no, really of for the multiple language. But yeah, no, if... but I think it it has a lot of depth and immersion for sure. Mm. I, I think uh, um, I'm thinking about. I believe it's um, what is the name? Um, I think uh, Plague Tale, the the game also. The, the, the one they about did the rats? that really. Um, no, I'm just thinking about. Um, I believe they have voice acting in French as well. Really? Or Spanish. Now I'm mm. confused. Uh, because the, the, the game is made in Spain. Someone in chat correct me, please, if I'm wrong. Uh, but I believe some people said that uh, actually playing the game on the original language is somewhat better than playing in English, for example, just because of the immersion. So that's why right. I think their choice is maybe an economical choice, but I think it's also a good choice for overall uh, immersion in this universe and interactions. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so Eugene is struggling, right? So well, yeah, he, he's, he's, to... he doesn't really want to, like, he's, uh, if he, so the inspector is asking him to kind of spy or, like, uh, investigate his own uncle, and he's kind of feeling a bit awkward about that. And, yeah. you know, why wouldn't you? Um, and he's just, yeah. He's, you know, he's, yeah. 
got out of the station, <laughs> his uncle wasn't there, he's gone through the rain, yeah. uh, and he's got rejected by an old lady, and then he got thrown right. into a, a room with a lot of young ladies. And, uh, he's, and this guy is the guy. first one to show some acceptance. And to some understanding. Yeah, but then he has second, maybe he has, yeah, second thoughts or like, yeah, he has ulterior yeah. motives. Tiens, revoilà la mondaine. Au revoir la mondaine. On a toujours rien à lui dire à la mondaine. Oui, ça va, ça va. Doucement, les effets de manchette. Regarde plutôt. Je suis pas mufle. Je t'amène du public. Un invité de choix. Ragazzino! <laughs> so some Italian. Qu'est-ce que. <clears throat> yes, yeah. I don't know if you can see on screen, <laughs> on stream, but there. Uh, Eugene has a little black eye. And, and yeah, so he, that's what. The uncle was surprised at. Yeah, and worried. So maybe uh, I, I see we we don't have much time. Maybe you can uh, uh -huh. click through a bit a bit more. Okay, let's go. Let's and, go. Let's go. And uh, and we can get into the. I always forget how how uh, how long the the first um, the first um, stretch. Yeah, of, the first of, section is. Yeah, because it's just yeah setting up a lot of things that pay off. Yeah, but I think I think this is a good teaser, right? Okay. But I just want to show, yeah, the, the, how the what the gameplay is, uh, is about. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to speed things up a little bit. I think yeah, we're 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 at it right now. We're we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, there is, okay, so now we know what we are. We're talking to build like documents finding contradictions between the two. Do you point out a contradiction? Okay. Oh. Okay. So you can actually mark stuff. Left mouse to start a connect. Oh, very interesting. Wait, it goes come. Ah, no, okay, I get it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go randomly. All to start a connection. I lost track here. Yeah, okay, because it doesn't make sense, right? Okay, so we can try something. Okay. Can we change? Wait. So yeah, the you should you should yeah talk to your uncle and and see what he has to say. Uh... Right. Um. Okay. Don't have much time. All right. So maybe I'll I'll. I'll uh... So if you yeah, don't he... want to be spoiled, maybe I'll give you a clue, uh, just uh -huh. so we can show. I just want to show a second part of, of the the gameplay. Uh, so the first part is finding those connections. And okay, so you... tell me what to do. So maybe you should ask him about uh, so Hervé Le Manchot, which is the guy he fought with, and why he's in a cell. This guy. This guy, yeah. Okay, that idiot. Okay. And then... can I stop now? So yeah, so now you can check what he, he said, and yeah, you can check between the translations. And so yeah, if you, so yeah, start a connection just to skip through the tutorial, yeah. And then okay. you can right click to cancel it. And, and then yeah, you, just, okay. you can just, yeah, favorite. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so yeah, basically, so if you look at the police report, um, and and so you, you don't have, you didn't have time to read it, but basically it, it says that he's uh, they they fought at the uh, in front of the of the Pigal, which is the, the the brothel. Okay. And look at what he's saying about. Uh... Uh, sorry, like this one used to be Blanche sponsor before Madame Solon accepted. Okay. Met him in the market. He started mouthing off. Okay, so this one. So he say. So here he's saying he's met him at, at the market, and the police report says that they they fought at the at the brothel. They met at the brothel. So he's, which is this one? So there's a contradiction. Yeah, you can you can point it out. There's multiple. Yeah. 
great. That's nice. Okay, very interesting. So Uncle Flavio lied. Okay, but why? Let's see what he has to say. So okay, yeah. So you can skip uh, over that that scene as well, and I can show you the one of the other part of the gameplay. Okay. So that's the yeah, a police report about Hervé Le Manchot. So now you're gonna you're gonna do a hypothesis. So. Hmm. So basically, using the topics you've um, you've gathered uh -huh. so far. You can start form forming uh, hypothesis, which is two topics and are put in relation with the. Uh, you can you can see the the bad lock. So, on the left, on, on the on the bottom, you you have a spot where you can put the topics. Ah, gotcha. Something like this. Yeah. Okay. And no. uh, and say and you can so start to figure out why. For example, try to threaten them. We see if it works. It works. Okay. So he came probably to get some money or something. Interesting. Oh. So you got it straight away. Good good job. Nice. This is much deeper than I expected. <laughs> um Yeah, so um Ricardo is asking on chat if you guys like uh Phoenix right, but I think uh, you already answered that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. So uh, one part we didn't show here is the confrontation, which happens at the end of a chapter. We have yeah, so you have three chapters in the game, and 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 the chapter is really inspired by the trial phase in in Phoenix right. Right. I think um, okay. So we have to wrap up. Um, okay. So this is very interesting. Um, and I'm going to say something, this is a compliment. This is much, much deeper than I actually <laughs> anticipated when I first tried the game, because I just tried a little bit, right? So I just did. Yeah, it's a slow, it, it, it's a slow burner. <laughs> right. But this is very intriguing and uh, much more complex than, than I have ever played actually, because I never played a d detective game now, now that I think of it. Um, so I think for anybody who likes, well, as you said, Ace Attorney, um, uh, papers, please. Right, so people should find some of that uh, each to be grasped in this game. Yeah, Tangle Tower. Check it out as well if you like detective games and haven't played it. Okay, so uh, Tom, what do you want to say? Like um, uh, upcoming projects, uh, release dates, anything that you want to share while uh, we're still live? Yeah, we so we're releasing uh, early next year. Uh, really early. We haven't really settled down yet on a, a precise uh, release date. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we should uh, we should announce you, that in December. And you also had on Kickstarter a stretch goal to release on the Nintendo Switch that I believe was not met. But is that still plans for? Yes, the it, it will take it will take longer. But yeah, we 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 hope to to do that next year as well uh, because I think the the game will really uh, really play well on on Switch as well. Kind of a cozy. Experience, you right. know, in the, in the in the afternoon under the under the duvet and uh, yeah, just being warm. Amazing, amazing. So thank you so much, Tom, and everybody. Please um, go check out the links I just shared on chat. So wish list the game if you found it interesting. Check uh, uh, the their website, see whatever you find interesting, and uh, keep up with the work because this is very very interesting. So Tom, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank uh, you sorry very for the slow start, but I hope you had as much fun as I did. So thank you so much. And everybody in the chat, please stick around because we have a couple more games to, to be presented and to be played um, in, the, in the next uh, at least one hour, I believe. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. Bye, Mimi.